Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have another Kentucky straight bourbon on the cast. And for all of you Americans who watch this, you might already have this bottle or you might be already able to buy this bottle, but it just got introduced in Germany. The United States already had these this bottle for four years, this bottling. And we just got introduced to it. It's 45.6% uh, ABV, that's 91.2 proof. So it's a bit stronger than normal. And they want to carry on the tradition of Augustus Bullheit, who made a high rye whiskey in 1830 to 18, uh, 1860. And he was a, a lawyer and just thought, yeah, I want to make my bourbon. And he, he liked a, a, a strong bourbon, so he made a high rye bourbon. So the, the Bullite brand is, is known for uh, strong spiciness and the Bullite rye, which is a rye whiskey. And this year is no exception. It's also a high rye whiskey, but now it got an age statement. So it's 10 years or longer for this whiskey in the cask. And uh, the Bullite brand was lost for many years and in 1987 Thomas Bullite Jr. revived the brand and um, now we have this bottle available. But it is distilled in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky, so that um, leaves us with uh, Wild Turkey or with Four Roses, but we do know it's from Four Roses and it's bottled by the Bullhead Distilling Corporation, Plainfield, Illinois, USA. And let's just have a taste how this Bullhead 10 years old just tastes. I had a few whiskeys uh, that were bourbons that were 12 years old and 18 years old, and a few that were nine years old. And it's very rare with uh, American whiskies to have uh, an age statement, high age statement on the, the, the whiskey because they, they store their whiskey in, in fresh oak casts and fresh oak casts are very intense in their flavor. So if you let them for 12 or I don't know, 18 years inside a cast, then you have a really, really, really strong flavor. And sometimes it's just too much for the people. Oh, <laughs> speaking of too much, that one is intense. So it's a, a mixture of, of vanilla sweetness with caramel and then a very strong rye influence. If you'd, if you'd let me guess, I would say he did 50-50 with the, with the corn and the rye, but he probably added some malted barley or... Oh, whew, this is intense so it's really intense and in if i smell a rye i always get a bit of a that, that pine flavor a bit of a woody flavor a bit of a peppery flavor sometimes yeah this one has a bit of a peppery flavor oh yeah it's a it's a very spicy one let's see how the the taste hold up holds up to this mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm. Oh my god. Mm. This is a bourbon or is this a rye whiskey? This is actually a bourbon, but mm, it's like it's like a rye whiskey with a mixture of a bourbon. So you do have a lot of spiciness, a lot of spiciness coming through your whole mouth. And then you have that a bit of a, a subtle uh, vanilla sweetness and a bit of a caramel sweetness and a bit like a bit of a popcorn thing going on. But it's, it's definitely, there is oak going on. There is that rye flavor going on. There's, mm, it's a, it's a high intensity, heavy bourbon. It's not one of these light, let's just sit around in the sun and have a glass, but it's a, a strong, intense one that you 
If you're really into that rye and bourbon flavor, then this is the perfect mixture for you. Mm. 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 Oh yeah. So it really hits you with the rye and then you mm, search around for some flavors and you get mm, you get that that nice bourbon flavor that is present in all the bourbons. But it is it is intensity. So for some people that might be too intense, but I think it's a great expression. If you can get your hands on one of these bottles in your collection of bourbon whiskies, it's always nice to have one that, that really sticks out with a lot of intensity. And the, the high um, bourbon whiskies, they are packed with intensity. So thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to know more about any whiskey or if you'd like to get in contact with us, then please feel free to visit whiskey.com and see you next time.